Good morning. This is Pastor Jeff. This is our daily lectionary readings for Monday, March 27th, 2023. We have our three daily readings. Psalm 143 is our psalm reading. 1 Kings 17, 17 through 24 is our Old Testament reading. And then Acts 20, 7 through 12 is going to be our New Testament reading. With it being Monday, we are reflecting back on what happened on Sunday. We're going to be listening in to the message version. So here are the scriptures. Psalm 143. Listen to this prayer of mine, God. Pay attention to what I'm asking. Answer me. You're famous for your answers. Do what's right for me. But don't. Please don't haul me into court. Not a person alive would be acquitted there. The enemy hunted me down. He kicked me and stomped me within an inch of my life. He put me in a black hole, buried me like a corpse in the dungeon. I sat there in despair, my spirit draining away, my heart heavy, like lead. I remembered the old days, went over all that you've done, pondered the ways that you have worked. Stretch out my hands to you, as thirsty as you, as a desert thirsty for rain. Hurry with your answer, God. I'm nearly at the end of my rope. Don't turn away from me. Don't ignore me. That would be certain death. If you wake me each morning with the sound of your loving voice, I'll go to sleep each night trusting in you. Point out the road that I must travel. I'm all ears, all eyes before you. Save me from my enemies, God. You're my only hope. Teach me how to live to please you, because you're my God. Lead me by your blessed spirit into clear and lever pasture land. Keep me up your reputation, God. Give me life. In your justice, get me out of this trouble. In your great love, vanquish my enemies. Make a clean sweep of those who harass me. And why? Because I'm your servant. Our Old Testament reading comes from the book of First Kings, chapter 17, verses 17 through 24. Later on, the woman's son became sick. The sickness took a turn for the worse, and then he stopped breathing. The woman said to Elijah, Why did you ever show up here in the first place? A holy man barging in, exposing my sins and killing my son. Elijah said, Hand me your son. He then took him from her bosom, carried him up to the loft where he was staying, and laid him on his bed. Then he prayed, O oh God, my God, why have you brought this terrible thing on this widow who has opened her home to me? Why have you killed her son? Three times he stretched himself out full length on the boy, praying with all his might, God, my God, put breath back into this body's. God listened to Elijah's prayer and put breath back into his body. He was alive. Elijah picked the boy up, carried him downstairs from the loft, and gave him to his mother. Here's your son, said Elijah, alive. The woman said to Elijah, I see it all now. You are a holy man. When you speak, God speaks a true word. Our New Testament reading comes from the book of Acts, chapter 20. Verses 7 through 12. We met on a Sunday to worship and celebrate the Master's Supper. Paul addressed the congregation. Our plan was to leave first thing in the morning, but Paul talked on way past midnight. We were meeting in a well lighted upper room. A young man named Eucharist was sitting in an open window. As Paul went on and on, Eutychus fell asleep and toppled out of the third story window. When they picked him up, he was dead. Paul went down, stretched himself on him, and hugged him hard. No more crying, he said. There's life in him yet. Then Paul got up and served the master's supper and went on telling stories of faith until dawn. On that note, they left, Paul going one way, the congregation another, leading the boy off alive and full of life themselves. And here ends our readings for the day. Hope you have a blessed start to your week.